so welcome to my Sunday. Today I started my period, so that kind of informs the entire day because it means that I'm gonna take everything even slower and not put pressure on myself to do anything. Um, but there are things I feel like doing. So I want to take you along for just a cozy day, a cozy summer day, because we can always be cozy. Um, so right now I'm making breakfast. I had this last weekend. It was pancakes and I improvised the recipe. Um, I think I also vlogged that because I was like running out of flour, of, out of gluten-free flour. And the pancakes, I mean the crepes, it was crepes we're so good and it's actually already lunchtime but i just haven't been able to do anything yet let's make the crepes and also i want to prepare like some sweet toppings and also some bacon because i imagine that to be great so let's keep cooking If you watch my morning routine, I like to use a little espresso cup um, to like cool down my coffee and mix it with sugar. Today I'm using this one that I also made. This one y'all was supposed to be like a huge cozy tea cup and it ended up being this, but it's still really pretty. I did this like texture. So yeah, I just wanted to share this because this, these are like the little joys that make Routines, fun. This meal is such a comfort and it's so cozy, even on a summer day. It feels like the perfect thing to eat fruits with. It's like transporting the fruit so last night i finished season two of this series called sex life and i watched the first season i think last year or two years ago okay out of curiosity to see like is this really bad or can it be kind of good and i settled on it's kind of good um in like the most extreme ways i don't know if, if y'all are familiar with like movies and books like after they kind of feel i don't know if after is a fan fiction is it it's like one of those movies that feel like fan fiction and so if you acknowledge that how extreme it's supposed to be and like the drama it was fun it was fun watching and everything got tied up at the end like i sometimes i had to remind myself that the topic is their sex lives because it's not always super blatant if you watch this and my review is misleading you i apologize i just wanted to talk about it because i rarely watch series and when i do i usually watch everything at once it's like a treat for me um like i watched bridgerton last month in one day and it was ugh, that was a treat <laughs> speaking of series if you're interested in a series now this would have been perfect to watch during pride month but hey pride throughout the entire year okay sensate if you haven't watched sensate yet it is a little dramatic there is like action but the main messages and just the queer power is amazing fun 
So if you're interested in, you know, like watching a new series, I think there's two seasons or three actually. And the production is great as well. I think it's a little older, but still worth the watch. It's a series that I would recommend to anyone. So yeah, I think anyone. I also watched You, um, the newest season, and I don't want to go off the rails, but I personally enjoyed it and I want to see more. So that is my little rant on series. And if you're interested in hearing people, if you're interested in a YouTuber who you can spend time with watching movies, Dylan is in trouble. I love watching him watch movies and talk about them. As I'm drinking my coffee, I'm realizing that I need to pick my next fiction read because I finished East of Eden with a sad heart to leave these people behind. I wrote in my journal like goodbye to all of the characters, even the seemingly evil char characters because it was just a pleasure to get a peek into these generations and into their lives. Um, yeah, for me, this is definitely going to be one of my favorite books, probably of all time. So right now I'm more on the conservative side of buying new books in like physical books. And I think I still have a couple ebooks that I haven't finished yet. So I will be looking into that library, I think, to pick my next read, my ne next fiction read, because I'm still reading a couple of like nonfiction books right now. So that's what I'm reading. I'll show you a little later what, what I've decided. I'm not supposed to be showing this to you because I have an entire video in the works about my balcony makeover but I just hung up the light string which has been a struggle I've had to try different methods and it's staying up so take this as a sneak peek it's something I just wanted to get done today so that I can finish that video and I'm just so thrilled to have this up. Look how cute! I just got home from a walk with Bourbon and I'm grateful that my cramps are at bay right now. So after I cool down for a bit, I would love to hem these curtains. Now, interestingly enough, this is made from the scraps of when I hemmed some other curtains. So that's fun. Maybe I'm gonna use this fabric to sew um, something, something fun too. So I'm going to go gather my sewing supplies and set up a nice station with my sewing machine and everything I need, like a mise en place for cooking. I've actually mentioned this in one of my like how to sew videos that I just like to have everything in one spot. So while I do that, I would love to take a minute to thank our sponsor, BetterHelp. Yes, being creative and nurturing my peace help maintain my mental health, but recognizing when I'm at my limits of managing on my own these past couple of months has changed my life. It can be such a relief to get professional help. And so BetterHelp is a platform that makes finding a therapist easier because it's online, it's remote, and by filling out a few questions, BetterHelp can match you to a professional therapist in as little as a few days. And don't fret, because if you'd like to speak to a different therapist, you can switch at any time. I've personally experienced and heard so many friends struggle with finding a local therapist as well as feeling limited with options. This should not be, but is the reality of many people who are already dealing with mental health strains. Access to BetterHelp can alleviate some of the stress 
and support you on your journey. So if you feel like BetterHelp might be the right thing for you and a valuable resource right now or in the future, head over to betterhelp.com slash Yusuf so that you can get 10% off your first month on BetterHelp. That is betterhelp.com slash Yusuf. Thank you to BetterHelp. And now let's move on with this curtain project. I am trying to do this as efficient as possible. I just... Um, ironed a seam length to see like how do I want the curtains to touch the floor and like lay on the ground so I will show you my ironing station over there and after that I will try to hem them with the same like amount of fold at the bottom this is not an instructional I'm just trying to explain to y'all the process so you know what's going on. This is the ironing station. I just put some old blanket on the ground. Too lazy to go grab my ironing board. And honestly, working with a bigger fabric, it's kind of easier on the ground, I feel like. So I will directly be measuring um, where I'm ironing the new seam. And it's a pretty simple process. So I'm gonna do this and make sure that I'm stretching out my back at the same time and not hurting it more from sitting on the ground so much. Hopefully some of y'all can relate. Um, period sweats. I was just starting to sweat even though I wasn't really moving. Um, I'm feeling more cooled down now. I just <laughs> took off my clothes. So <laughs> I prepared the curtains, four pieces. I just have to sew straight lines and then I'm done. But this machine, I don't get the hang of how to thread or how to add thread to the lower thread thing, professional uh, terms. So I'm going to do it by hand, like I did last time um, for the other curtains. And it really was not that bad. Uh, <laughs> so I just thought I am going to update y'all on that. But I thought while I'm doing this, I wanted to briefly mention um, that I would love to talk more about books and there's this option of me doing just book related videos on my vlog channel. It's called Juice and I used to do just weekly vlogs on there. But yeah, I'm curious to hear whether y'all are interested in seeing the book videos on this channel or whether you think oh you know what it's actually a good thing or like a good idea to like put that on another channel um just because i feel like if someone doesn't read they i don't know if they would want to watch a video just talking about books so <laughs> we'll see we'll see i really don't know i i mean i personally watch a lot of people um who do both on their channels um and i love that too because i like the people so yeah it's kind of this like it doesn't matter too much it's just like a formality and i'm currently contemplating those formalities someone someone cannot wait <laughs> we are back from the walk before I start sewing, I'm actually going to cook some dinner. I haven't really been feeling like eating with my cramps, but I think I'll cook it now and then probably before I go to sleep, I'll just try eating a bit because I do not accept cramps being my only meal for today and I'm sure I'll get hungrier, um, especially in a couple of hours, so let's cook. 
I just have the Barbie song stuck in my head. Yeah, maybe I should listen to something else so that I have something else stuck in my head. <laughs> my dinner and watch this podcast episode from crime weekly i am a big fan of stephanie harlow and she has this podcast with derek it's great i love their commentary so what do you say itadakimasu hostile just as they had been during the rise of you know these these other outlaws in the 30s and 40s in the great depression people felt good to see someone or like get the best of the man and pull one over on the government. D.B. Cooper has become a folk hero of sorts, especially some, end quote. And that sort of leads us into an important conversation to have. Would you look at that? And now it's going to clean my floors, basically. Let's hang this up. First, I'm going to put the light on, okay? All right. It looks so cute, even from the inside. Right. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. So I like to put them, I have like two different rails. y'all my lamp up here is currently not turning on i think i need to like switch out the bulb <laughs> so i'm gonna use this lamp from my balcony to clean up all of the pins into my pin cushion which i actually love to do because i love to color coordinate it and right now it's super messy so <laughs> that's what i'm doing I'm doing my skincare, which is why my face is so shiny. I'm just letting it dry right now. So I wanted to pick back up on the books to finish off this video. So I looked through my ebooks and I'm kind of going with a the theme of reading English classics right now for fun. I've decided to restart reading North Anger Abbey. I hope I'm saying it right. I'm never sure if it's North Anger or North Anger. It's a book by Jane Austen and I started reading it but really did not understand where it was going. Like I was not in a mood for it. But now I feel like it would be the right read. So I'll restart that. Hopefully you'll hear some updates and I'm excited to get into it. I'm excited to go back into that era um, 
and yeah, read a romance, get inspired, inspired to live. <laughs> So that is my book that I'm going to be starting. I'll probably read a bit today. It's been fun chatting with y'all. Thank you for following this slow self-care day. And I hope to see you around. If you're interested in exclusive content, watching my videos a bit earlier, and some more personal life updates throughout the month, you can check out my Patreon. Otherwise, I will see you around. And until then, isu!